Okay guys, today we're going to show you the new Metron table and the different features that it has to help you get your guests back to what you love. All right. To move the table, there's a little lever that is one in the front and the back. When you pull it up, it locks the table in place and you can't move it. When you push it down, it lifts the table up, engaging the wheels and allowing for movement. Okay, next we're going to look at how to raise and lower the table. There's a bar that's situated near your feet, and when you push down on it, the table goes up. And then when you pull up on it, the table goes down. The large section in the back is good for recumbent position or lower extremity elevation. There's a lever here which you can pull raising the table. You pull it again and you push down and the table returns to a lower position. Now you can move the pillows up and sometimes you're patient, you want them in a recumbent position. You can simply adjust it to the height you're looking for. Use pillows if you'd like and lie them down. You can also take pillows, put them near the head, and you can lie your, your patient down and have their feet elevated. Next, we're going to look at the handheld control, which controls the center section of the table. There's two buttons on the control, one for up, you can see the center section raising up, the back section also will raise as well. This is left side bending. You can add a little rotation as well. Good for positional distraction or mobilization. Next, we're going to look at how to maximally position the table. First, we raise the midsection to its highest height, and then we push down on the bar and bring it up to the maximum position. <clears throat> Now you can be at up to chest height, so if you want to use the various positions to train your patients in lifting and setting, simulating say reaching in a cupboard or putting something on a shelf. Next we're going to look at the right and left small sectional. Notice you'll have one on the left and you can pull out the metal bar and drop it down and then pull it back out and re-engage. It's important to make sure that the section is firmly secure. Dropping the small sectional allows you to get close to your patient. Optimizing your forces as you do manipulations as well as protecting your body mechanics so that you can be a healthy therapist. When the patient is in prone, you can adjust just the head position. The lever on the right raises and lowers the headpiece. You can find the optimal comfort level of your guest using this adjustment. The armrests are adjustable. Pulling the lever, they will go up and down. And simply rotating to the left and to the right, we'll put it more with the shoulder in external rotation or in neutral. When working with your guest in supine, 
can adjust the top headpiece with the right lever down and up. You can also rotate the arm rest to the outside allowing for good leg mobility. There is a center sectional piece when you want to position the patient in a more neutral position. You simply place it in the center of the cervical section and resting the occiput on the sectional piece. This allows more relax, relaxation to the posterior ligaments during treatment. You can treat your, position, your patient in the sitting position as well. The right level will move the headpiece up and down. The left lever will tilt the headpiece forward and back. Adjusting the armrest comfortably and the headrest and tilt and raise position to the desired level, have the guest rest within the cervical and armrest region. You could do some treatment on the lumbar area, cervical, uh, shoulder region, any area that you choose. You can perform lumbar traction using this table. Put the sectionals down so that the guests can rest their hands in the L region of the table. Gate belt around their waist, through the center of their legs. With a chair on the table, notice the towel to protect the vinyl of the table. Now we can apply some traction. By stepping to the back of the table with the gate belt around the waist and gently leaning back, listening a distraction to the lumbar region.